back to the hurdle course for race 12 and the Sefton Novices hurdle. So three miles and just a little bit more. Grade 1, Arlington Killer for Vinnie Gerrard, a Bessifilis idea for David Robertson, Jim Cattrall for Marty Meadon, Mangan and Doodle for Craig Allen, Prophet's Passion for David Hooley, Sunning Eye for Darren Thompson, Atonement for Josh Sutherland, Discoed Fields for Craig Allen, Fire for also for Josh Sutherland, and Hidden Persuader for Leon Van Rensburg. Makes up 10, to go over 3 miles and a half. And the hurdle course here at Aintree, they're racing. Again, there's a bunch of reluctant uh, racers here as we get into the first of the 13 hurdles they'll have to take here. There's Discoed Fields, relatively leading from Arms and Killer on his outside, then we've got Grey about six wide, signing I. Bussiglas idea, widest of all, in between those is a Magmar Doodle. She throws Martin Leaven's Jinka Trowel now. The ones that uh, are four or five wide are going to notice it as we swing left handed here. Going to shuffle back and the hurdle courses at them. As you can see, those ones the rear, the white fossilis ideas, Sonning Iron Man and Dew Doodle and Fire all lost probably three or four lengths. But the one that's leading us, Disco Fields. Disco Fields leads by about three to Arlington Killer taking a keen hold. We've got Prophet's Passion and David Hooley Purple Silks. Outside of that is Hidden Persuader for Leon Van Rensburg. Just wider that is Atonement. Leaden's Junker Trout, Craig Allen's Mangum Doodle, going through by fire, and something like the great boss for this idea for David Robson bringing up the rear. So it's this is Discoed Fields for Craig Allen that leads us. As they approach the second, Marlington Killer. He gets over that, so it's Discoed Fields and Marlington Killer, Prophet's Passion and Hidden Persuader. Atonement. Through by Mangum Doodle, Junker Trow, and Sunning Eye the Grey. To the third. And that as well. Sunning Eye pecked a little bit on the landing. And just the one at the rear we're losing a little bit of sight on. This Bussiflus idea for David Robertson. So go with the fourth. Fire stepped over that one as well towards the rear. So this Disco Fields has got himself a five length advantage. Arlington Killer in second. Prophet's Passion is third. Hidden Persuaders in fourth. Against the fences, Mangum and Doodle. And through the trees. Ray, Sunning Eye, and the side of that is Atonement. Jinka Trout, and Fire together. And of course, it's this idea who stumbled over that one there. He's just at the rear. So the lead for Disco Fields is down to just three now. You can persuade her an arms and killer. Between those is Prophet's Passion. Come down to the next. It's Disco Fields that's going to lead us over it. Discoed Fields from Hidden Persuaders moving to second, Prophet's Passion, Arlington Killer. Oh, Disco Fields went through the top of that one, flattened the board. And the lead's gone now. It's down to just a couple from Hidden Persuader and Prophet's Passion, both taking a hold as well as Arlington Killer. We go over the seventh, so half the hurdles have done. Disco Fields just by length now to Hidden Persuader. Prophet's Passion, Arlington Killer, the Grey, Sonny Eye. Two Sutherland Horses of Atonement and Fire between those is Mangum Doodle. Just at the rear, Bosifless Idea and Jinka Trow. As they race left handed again, Bosifless Ideas managed to get over a little bit closer to them. Towards the fence, we will lose a length or two, as he did on the previous circuit. This discoed fields still leads. Sonny Nye, the grey, has moved into second now. He's hidden Persuader on his inside. Much better run. And Thompson picked up the last two. Could he make it a hat trick of wins? So it's discoed fields from Sonny Nye, hidden Persuader. It's Discoed Fields. Something I just shuffles back a little bit. Hit Persuader takes another hold. Looks in this. These two are just at the rear at the moment. A Jinka Trow and Atonement just at length off the chasing pack as they go to the eighth. So 
comes five more hurdles to take in its disco to fill. This leads down to just a length now from Kid and Persuader that's holding second. From Boss of this idea on why there's moved well now, the grey in between horses is sonning eye. They're all much closer now, and anything could win it from here as both Jinka Trail and Atonement try to just tag on the end of the pack as they go over the tenth, which is four from home. Really poor jump there by Prophet's Passion, who's shuffled from second right down towards the rear of the pack, and it's this disco to fills that still leads from Boss of this idea on the wide outside. The grey sunning eye up against the fences, hidden persuader. Iron Tickler's got nowhere to go. Move well on the outside now is fire, but it's discoed field still leading them into the next. Discoed fields from Gossilis idea in second. A much better jump there by Craig Gannon's discoed fields pushing through out of the pack now is Jinka Trav and Fire who were at the rear before. So we're inside the final half mile with just a couple to take, and it's discoed fields from Jinka Trav moving into second. Out wide is fire pushing on there's Gossilis idea, hidden persuader. But it's Craig Gannon's discoed fields that leads by about five to Jinka Trow in second. Fire moving out of the pack now is Hidden Persuader as we come down to the penultimate is Discoed Fields. Still leads by four from Jinka Trow and Fire and Hidden Persuader. Great jump by the leader there. Still got a four or five length advantage. We've got a furlong and a half still to run and one to take. And it's Discoed Fields from Hidden Persuader. Fire and Bussifler's idea is over the last. They're not going to catch this. So it's inside the final furlong. Discoed Fields just slowing up a little bit now as Hidden Persuader and fire try and chase him down We're inside the final half and it's disco fields here comes hidden persuader but the line's going to come in time the jockey's already saluting the crowd well done to disco fields won it from pillar to post for Craig Allen takes the Sefton novices hurdle hidden persuader of Leon Ren Remsberg that run on for second third I think was fire for Josh Sutherland Fourth was Bustleless Idea for David Robertson, and fifth was, was that Mangum Doodle. Or was that in the last race? It was Mangum Doodle for Craig Allen, who also got fifth. We'll move on to the last race of the day.